Hi, today we're going to talk about retaining wall lateral pressure cu calculations in Risa Foundation. Uh, so we're going to start off with a retaining wall that's already been drawn and we're going to open up the retaining wall definitions spreadsheet from which we can open up the retaining wall definition editor. Uh, and We're going to focus on the soil tab of this editor uh, in this video and here we can see that there are K values, gamma values, and phi values for both the toe and heel side of our retaining wall. And we can see here that by default we have left these values blank for the K factor, uh, which uh, the program will calculate automatically based on some assumptions. So let's start off by just solving the model and we'll see that the program actually calculates our lateral, lateral pressures on our retaining wall. If we come down we can see these K factors that were calculated. So we have a K lat, heel, heel saturated, and toe. And we can see here that we have an active and passive scenario occurring and so our our pressures are calculated based on those uh, assumptions of active versus passive pressures. If we go back to the retaining wall definitions and go to the general tab, we'll see that there's an option here for propped, propped retaining wall. So we have that set to no, so it's acting as a true cantilever, and the assumption is that the tip of the cantilever is moving to the left, uh, putting the heel soil into an active pressure case and the toe soil into a passive case, which is what we just saw with our solution. However, if I say yes and resolve and take a look, we see that our K factors um, go to an at rest scenario. So with that propped, cantilever, uh, the tip of the cantilever can't move so it's assumed to be at rest on both sides so we end up with a K factor that is equal. If we go into the help file and take a look at the retaining walls design topic we can see where these K factors are calculated and how they're calculated uh, and it's based on the coefficient of internal friction of the soil and the backfill angle of the soil. Uh, and here we can see that we are using Rankine theory for our K sub A and K sub P active and pass passive coefficients. So that's the assumption that is made when we're calculating these K factors. Uh, there are times on a soils report where you directly are given the K factor value or the lateral pressure itself as in say 35 PSF per foot uh, and if you want to directly input that uh, you essentially have to just calculate whatever your gamma is or your soil density multiply that by uh, your K factor to get that pressure um, so you can use the pressure you are given along with the gamma of the soil to back out the K that you need to input uh, to get the pr pressure that you are looking for here. Uh, one other uh, common thing I've seen happen uh, is when the height of soil on the heel side is relatively close to the soil on the toe side. So I'm going to put a six foot soil height on the heel side and a five foot soil height on the toe side and we are going to assume that it is not a propped wall and we're going to solve again. When we look at the detail report this time we get a message at the bottom and we actually don't get a design for our wall. So it says that the hydrostatic passive forces on the toe exceed the hydrostatic active forces on the heel. Uh, and that 
is a poor assumption or it's a it's a system that doesn't really work so if we look at this a little bit closer we can see that the passive total pressure is actually higher than the active total pressure which means that the uh, retaining wall would actually be getting pushed from left to right um, which doesn't really make any sense uh, it essentially means that our uh, active and passive assumption that was made uh, may be incorrect and so in that scenario you may need to go and manually input those K factors uh, potentially as an at rest case with you know both sides of the retaining wall soil being approximately the same uh, you may you'll need to manually update those K factors so that's a a quick tour of the uh, lateral pressure coefficients.